Terra Viva, a checkup on the environment. Tanning is an ancient art in Morocco, but it pollutes the environment heavily. Chuara is part of this tradition. It's one of the three tanneries in Medina and Fes that continues to use organic materials, a method that's dying out as modern tanneries use chemical processes. Waste products all go to the same place, the Cebu River system, which also gathers all the city's untreated water and other local industrial waste. Most of the raw materials we use here are natural products. Quick lime, grenadine, pigeon droppings, wheat germ or tree bark. The new generation tanneries are much dirtier and have delocalized to the modern industrial outskirts. There are 58 today in Fez alone. Modern techniques have increased production, although purists scoff that tanning quality is not what it was with the traditional methods. The Sace tannery can process 2,000 sheepskins every day. Here we work with sulfur, quicklime, sulfate, formic acid, sulfuric acid and chrome. It's a tanning revolution. In the past, we needed between 40 days and two months to finish tanning a skin. Here, we now need only two or three days. Chrome-laden water from this tannery and 17 others like it in the Dokarat district doesn't go in the river. Three kilometers of piping take it to Morocco's first chrome removal plant, which opened in 2003. 50 cubic meters of water can yield around two and a half tons of recycled chrome. We can handle about eight cubic meters of water a day that come here from the Dokarat tanneries. This recycled chrome, when separated with sulfuric acid into a liquid form, is sold back to the tanners who can use it again. At four dirhams, or less than half a euro, it makes economic sense too, as non-recycled powdered chrome costs between 11 and 13 dirhams a kilo. The setting up of the chrome removal station is just part of a far more ambitious program to restore Fess's sewage system and between now and 2012, building a new sewage works. The project will cost 90 million euros and should slash pollution going into the Cebu, one of Morocco's dirtiest rivers. Getting rid of the chrome first is vital, as it inhibits the treatment of sewage. Today, around 40 tanneries still pump untreated waste into the Wed Cebu. Around 100 tons of chrome gets dumped into the Cebu every year. The chrome removal plant can only deal with around 40% of this. Eventually, the plant should be able to deal with all of Fez's tannery waste water alongside the National Programme for Water Treatment, whose objective is to cut industrial and domestic water pollution by 60% by 2020.